Hey guys, I'm trying to get ready for winter here, and uh, check this out. What do you think? What do you think happened here? Uh, it's ready. Let's see if it starts. Yeah. As soon as you switch it off, choke it dies. Son of a gun. That means the carburetor jet is plugged. Just what I wanted to do today. So, guess I'll work on taking this thing apart and see if I can get it going again. Because we're supposed to get 48 inches of snow tomorrow. So I'd like to have it working. Well, I started taking off the cowl and the chute and all that so I could get at the carburetor. Took that, took, but I uh, didn't realize that on this particular snowblower there's, there's the bowl. So I can just get right to it. Of course, I just filled it up with gas. I drained most of it out using, you know, that thing hanging over there. Just siphoned it out, but now I'm just letting it drain out of the carburetor bowl here into my gas tank, which you can tell I spilled a little bit. Whoops. But uh, once that drains, we'll, we'll see what our jet looks like. I'm guessing it's clogged based on the fact that you <laughs> take it off of full choke and it dies immediately. Could be something else, but I doubt it. So I'll just let this sucker drain. I think I'm going to go make some lunch or something because it looks like it's going to take a good while. But uh, we'll resume then. Welcome to the floor. Um, here's the bowl. Took the bowl off. It's clean. So next up is the float. Uh, I'm not going to do it one handed because I don't want to bend the little rubber needle thing. So I'll have that off in a second. We'll take a look. Okay, here's the bowl, or the bowl, the float and the rubber needle. Uh, I'm not going to see it with the phone, but to the naked eye, it looks fine. It's not, not warped or anything. Here's the pivot pin. I don't want to lose that. So I'll keep those on this chair. And now, this is going to be tough, but the main jet woo, is up inside that tube. It's up in there. So I'll have to get it out, I think. It should just take a wow blurry. That's my hand. It should just take a screwdriver. And if I put it up in there. Yep, yeah, okay. I think it's. Let me see if I got the right size one. Oh, yeah, she locks in pretty good. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to count the number of rotations it takes to take it out. You should just be able to snug it up, but I like to count the rotations anyway so I can see the lettering on the, on the bit is right here right in line with this hole, so I'll just keep going and count them. And we'll see what we get. Okay, I got the jet, main jet out, and uh, you can just barely see light. Let me get over here. See light through it? There's like a green... It's like a clear coat. Yeah, there you go. You can see through it, but there's like a clear coating in there. Um... It's super restricted in size, so I'm going to go clean that up just with a needle or whatever I got. And we'll put it back in, and maybe this damn thing will run. <laughs> I hope so. I'm not a good small engine kind of guy, but I can kind of fake my way through it. So I'm going to go clean this up. I got some gun cleaner to really clean it off too, so hopefully I can get this thing running before tomorrow or later today when it snows. As promised, I reamed her out with a needle, and look, look at that now. That's a little better, huh? I think she'll be able to breathe now. Let's go put it back in, get some feel in it, and see what it does. Actually, i got to put it back together, because I took off way too many parts. <laughs> I didn't need to do that. Oh, well, so it goes. Change of plans. I don't want to put all the cowling back on in case I do have to take the carburetor off. So what we're going to do is we're just going to give her a little splash of gas. Okay, that should do it. Just enough. And run the primer. Okay. And uh, what do we got it set for here? Run, yeah, that's good. High speed. Choke on. Wish me luck.
Bingo, clog jet. So she's running perfect now. Should be noted, you should never ever run a snowblower like I just did without the, uh, with all the belts exposed and stuff. That's just dangerous. I wasn't gonna engage anything, so I wasn't too worried, but just for safety's sake, you shouldn't do that. But uh, looks like it's time to bolt her all together. She's back up and running. I don't know what the hell happened, why it even choked up so I clogged up so quick, but whatever. She's back in action. I'll be ready for the snow later today. So thanks for watching. And uh, to all you people that don't get snow, <laughs> count your blessings. Have a good one.